Thank you, Jesus. Mm. To thank you, how you have always done things. This is how I do it. I can't do it like this. This is it. That is it. Praise the Lord. Worship your majesty. Yes, breathe upon us, Jesus. Breathe upon us, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless every one of you. It is well with us in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Good evening, good evening. Good afternoon, good morning. God bless all of you. Wow, 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 wow. Wow. To God be the glory. Just two hours and we'll be, <laughs> we'll be rushing the food. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Wow, how do you feel? I feel so good. I come, Lord. Hallelujah. I lift it up. Yes, 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 Lord. Come Thank you, quench. Jesus. Yes, it's very powerful. You can go back and finish it. The video is already on my platform. I will repost it again. But we need to come and finish this one first. Hallelujah. Feel me till I want no more. No more. Feel my cup. Hey, Makalabo Sindarabash. Who is excited? My God, I'm just so excited. And make it, make me whole. Hmm. Hello everybody, welcome. You are welcome, you are welcome. Can you share as you are coming in? the Lord filling our cups. Praise the Lord.
Fill my cup, fill it up. Make me long. Fill my cup, fill it up. I lift it up to you. Come and quench the thirst is of my soul. Bread of heaven, hear me till I want no more. Yes, fill it up and make me. I lift it up to you. Come and quench the testes of my soul. Bread of heaven, fill me till I want no Fill my cup, fill it up, and make me whole. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We worship your majesty. 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 We glorify your name. You are worthy. You are faithful, you are awesome. Marshan Tarabas. Libra Gadabas Kendelebosi Katarabash. Lebogodos Kendelebos in Taraba. Lebagadaba Babas Kentelebos. Holy is the Lord. Yes, my God. For oh, you are glorious. To be praised, you are the Lamb upon the throne, oh, and unto you we lift our voice to sing, you are the Lamb. Oh, upon the throne, God bless you all, for you are glorious, you are the Lord upon the throne, hey, and You are the Lamb upon the tree. And what did you be praised? Somebody worship him. You are the Lamb. Upon the throne, oh, and unto you we lift our voice. He is the Lamb of God on the throne, able to do all things. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And worthy to be praised. Aha. Uh -huh. You are the Lamb upon the throne.
Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. He is the Lamb upon the throne. Praise the Lord. Congratulations, everybody. Congratulations, congratulations. Congratulations to you. Congratulations to us. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Tell yourself congratulations. You don't even understand what has happened. Doors has opened. Doors has opened in the spiritual realm. Hallelujah. 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 Things has happened. We will begin to witness and see the manifestations of all the Lord has done for us this year. Thank you, Jesus. Mashan Tarabas. I hope you have your communion ready. I have mine here. So we're going to break our fast 12 o'clock sharp. Whatever we are doing, once it's 12 o'clock, we'll take a break and break the fast. We've been fasting for 24 hours and we've been coming online. And God has been good to us. Has God been good to you? Has God been good to you? Has God been good to you? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God has been good to us. Hallelujah. Mashen terebos. Rabba Catholica Lendes in Teria Bagada Ibogodos Ken Terebos. Oh, congratulate yes, congratulate yourself. Because the Lord has done that. Which is please we are only here for Thanksgiving. We just want to do thank Thanksgiving. Then I will I will I will tell you some of the promises of God concerning you. Why you must not be afraid this year. Why you must not give up this year. Why you must fight this year? Why you must know? Hey, oh, I won't wear. Hey, 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 name don't change. <laughs> God is too good, though. Hey, hallelujah, hallelujah. Mashenteri Bakatalia. Somebody's name just changed, and I noticed it. Hmm, hmm. A new beginning. A new beginning. Hallelujah. <laughs> A new beginning. My God. Rabba Katalabas Kendelebo Shinteria. A new beginning. Maskente Ribakato. Our level has changed. <laughs> Say, my level has changed, Mom. <laughs> Your level has changed. All our levels have changed. The Lord is rewriting our stories. The Lord is changing our situations for the better. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. New beginning. For the first time, I saw your surname. I don't even know your surname. Ha! Congratulations. Happy married life. God is great. God is great. Hey, hey, hey. It's indeed a new beginning for every one of us that believes. That is why you cannot afford not to believe. Believe. <laughs> Somebody's laughing, though, Sister Lois. <laughs> you need to believe. Believe, 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 believe what the Lord is saying to us. And so shall it be established in your life. Glory to God. Glory to God. So I just, I'm going to pray, be praying for people. I'm going to be praying for people. I'm going to be praying for people. Another name change, Mba. <laughs> God is great. What's the other one? Idahosa. Three name change this year. I'll be last year. Thank you, Father. It is the beginning of new things, great and mighty things to come in your lives, in your marriages, in the mighty name of Jesus. Ripakatoliketes in Tarabas. Wow, 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 wow. Congratulations to us. Congratulations to everybody. Congratulations to all of us. The Lord has begun his work in us. Aha. Uh -huh. I say congratulate yourself now. Because your story has just changed. It's explosive. Explosions, explosions, explosions. Forget the tears of yesterday. Forget the pain of yesterday. Because a new thing has begun. Listen to me. When we are prophesying, we prophesy to you. And our prophecies, according to Dr. Paul Eneche, is a gateway. It breaks open the doors. But for those that believe, for those that believe, 
I received a testimony this evening. I was laughing like, wow, wow, wow. A little girl. She's going to post her testimony. That I prayed for. Me, I have forgotten. I, she couldn't go to the toilet. She was having difficulties using the toilet. About, I think about a 10-year-old girl or so. Just I was praying for the auntie. And she said, oh, pray for my uh, niece. Because they are having problems. She's having problems with toileting. And I prayed for her. Prayed on water for her. And today they were giving me this, this testimony that immediately after prayer, from the next day, her bow was open. And from that time till eternity, it is opened forever. In the name of Jesus. And she has been using the toilet freely like as normal. Compared to before when it is a struggle. Even as little as that has changed. <laughs> that is our God. There is no situation too small. None too big for him to handle. God is able to do it. Oh, you need small girl has faith. She believed. And she was saying, tell your woman of God she can pray. Her prayer worked. Small girl believed. Now she's healed of that. No more struggle to use the toilet. What is your own situation? There is no sickness that God cannot heal. There is no situation that God cannot handle. All you need is faith to believe. When we decree, when we prophesy to you, you believe, believe, believe in the prophet. So shall you be established by a prophet. The children of God were delivered. I declare to you, so shall it be. It is when you doubt, you miss it. Praise the Lord. God has been working in us. God has been speaking since the last day of last month up until now. God has been speaking. He has been speaking. But are you listening? Even though <laughs> she said your woman of God is powerful. <laughs> That's a little girl that just had an encounter with the Holy Ghost. Simple prayer. Prayed on water. Her, her bowels is free. Now she's normal. God is good. By a prophet, God delivers his people. You need to have faith. You need to believe. You need to believe. That is all. You want it. Let me reduce the volume. It feels like I'm shouting. I'm shouting, right? I'm shouting. And it's already late. It's already past 10. We have neighbors. <laughs> me, I can shout. I'm very loud. Praise God. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. I'm going to be praying for people for the uh, baptism of the Holy Ghost. How many of you are born again and you do not speak in tongues? But you must be born again, no. Otherwise, you won't receive it. Receive him. He's not going to come on you if you are not born again. How many of you are born again and you don't speak in tongues? And you are interested in speaking in tongues? And your heart is open to speak in tongues? And you are ready to speak in tongues because you need to want, you need, you have to desire it. And you need to be ready to free and release yourself because I'm not going to open your mouth and drag it out. My own is to decree. Your own is to open your mouth and speak and it comes out. Do you understand? Because I, was, I said it, that I was going to pray for people for that in the afternoon. But because we are doing other prayers, I think we ran out of time or something. So while we are talking like this, get your communion stuff near you. I have my own near me. My 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 communion because for my family is there. And my drink is there. It's right here. So my communion is ready. Because once it is 12 o'clock, we are going to start the communion. So just get it ready. Just put it around near you. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. Is there anybody here? I know of somebody. I know only of Sister Geraldine. Sister Geraldine is on watch party. Sister Geraldine, you're on the watch party. On the main video, how many people are born again and you don't speak in tongues? And you want to speak in tongues? You want the baptism of the Holy Ghost? You need to start the year with the Holy Ghost. So if you're not speaking in tongues, you know, it, the, the good thing about the Holy Ghost is that He helps you to pray more. He helps you to it gives you understanding of the scripture. Lorenzo Gabriel. Hallelujah. Are you raising your hands up for the baptism? Are you born again? Hallelujah. I'm waiting to see if there is any more people, anyone else that desires the baptism of the Holy Ghost. 
because I'm going to be doing that. First, I need to understand your faith, to have faith. Trust God and believe. 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 Have faith. Trust God and believe that He is able. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wow. Congratulations. Those of you, how many of you did? How many of us faithfully fasted for 24 hours? You did not eat food. You drank only water. Me, I've not even drank water since that before midnight. I've not. I just, I just lost appetite for water. I lost appetite for food. You see, that is what the Holy Ghost can do. So how many of you have faithfully fasted for these 24 hours? You did not break it. You did it faithfully. I will have like one hour, some minutes to go. How many of you faithfully fasted at all? In this, for this 24 hours fast, how many of us faithfully did it? Praise the Lord. I'm waiting. I know there is delay in transmission. So it's going to answer me. Because your stories have changed. And this fasting is for new beginning, greater glory, divine shift, supernatural shift, unlimited shift. Nothing can limit you this year, Sister Caro. God bless you. The reason you fasted is already established. It is settled. Your job is settled. I decree and I command a restoration, supernatural restoration of your work in the next few months. In the name of Jesus, Sister Comfort, the Lord is already rewriting your story. All your tears, look, I'm already prophesying. All the tears you shed in the past are over. Those frustrations, pain, heartache, disappointment, you know, carrying your weight on your own shoulder, it is over forever. In the name of Jesus. I hear for you, Sister Carol, that God will surprise you for your faithfulness. God will surprise you. I heard it loud and clear that God is going to give you a surprise that will wow you this year. Continue to be faithful. Continue to be obedient to divine instructions. La Prakato. Those people that fasted, I feel the Holy Ghost doing something. The Holy Ghost is speaking to you individually now. Two people, if you fasted for these 24 hours on stop, you did not break it. Type me. Type me. If you fasted, Labakata, Labakato, Sianda, Baba, Baba. Sister Geraldine, you, did you, Sister Geraldine, did you fast for the whole 24 hours? Or is the, your years for the Holy Ghost, um, for the baptism of the Holy Ghost or for fasting? Let me know. If you fasted sincerely for these 24 hours, Sister Lois, I hear that this is really your year for a new beginning. I hear that this is really your year for a new beginning. This is really your year for a supernatural shift. Those yearnings, those desires you've always had inside of you, deep hidden. There are some things you hid, hidden inside of you that you are silently, silently asking God for. The Lord says I should tell you that they are settled. I don't know what it is, but that is what I heard. That there are some specifics, specifics you have been asking God for, crying to him for. I'm still hearing it again that it is settled. The Lord says I should tell you that it is settled. The Lord wants you to know that those things are handled already. They are settled. Just continue. Continue to be faithful. Continue to believe. Continue to trust. They will begin to manifest this year. They will begin to manifest this year. Sister Comfort, again, your door is open. I hear that your door is opened. I hear the Holy Ghost saying that your door is opened. Uh -huh. Sister Lois is confirming that. I did not know about it. You didn't tell me, but the Holy Ghost said so. That those things that you have been, you know, is within you. You know it. You are not even saying it out, but you know it within you. He says they are settled. The Holy Ghost says they are settled. 
Sister, Reg Sister Geraldine, I hear that your struggles are over. I hear like you've struggled so much in life. You've struggled so much in life. You have, act I hear suffering. I hear suffering like you've really gone through some difficult and challenging situation. I heard you, re you really suffered some things in your life, in your life that almost caused you to give up on life. But God is saying to you that he is the restorer. He is the, re ah, mashakataba. I hear that he's, I hear for you, I hear double for your trouble. I hear double, 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 double for your trouble. That means the Lord is going to give you something. He's going to do something spectacular in your life. I heard it double, double for your trouble. For every trouble the enemies put you through. But the Lord is saying today, he's going to give you double, which means double portion of answers, double portion of breakthrough financial breakthrough your financial doors are open and i am hearing tithing the lord says you should be faithful in your tithing be faithful in your tithing be faithful in your giving these are links that will open those doors for you but even now he's already giving you double for your trouble and then i'm hearing that you need to have faith more faith you need to believe you need to trust him more sister geraldine you need to trust the Lord more. Trust Him more. And you will see what He will do for you. It is still your new beginning. This is a new, a fresh start with the Holy Ghost. Because things are already shifted in your life. Your levels have already shifted. And it is shifting. Continue to be faithful to God. And He will be faithful to you. If you fasted, if you did the 24 hours fast, Please type me. I feel that the Holy Ghost wants to speak to you. If you did it sincerely, the 24 hours fast, you fasted and you did not break it. You have not broken till now. You have faithfully fasted. Rabagados Kandalabash. I want you to type me. Ha. Sister Lois is confirmed. It's so true, mommy. Well, she did not tell me anything. It's the Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord. Good evening, Namaka. If you know you fasted for these 24 hours till now, let me know. Type me. If I've not spoken to you, type me. If you fasted for these 24 hours, type me. Rakatalabas kenderebosh. I bagada bagada bali bogodos kandalaba. Reprocator. If you have not broken your fast till now, in the past 24 hours you have not eaten. You've only taken water. Type me. Namaka, have you broken your fast? Or you are still fasting. Be sincere. Type me. Mashaka Talabas. Sister Alina, did you not fast? You do not miss fasting before. Hey, she's confirming it on the... She's confirming what I just said on the watch party. She said, all you said is true, woman of God. She has not discussed... This woman has not even discussed any of her problem with me. She has not spoken anything to me. But look at what God just told her. Praise the Lord. She said, all you said is true, woman of God. But relax, okay? This is your season of celebration. This is your season. I'm hearing it again. It's your season of celebration. Just relax and trust God more. Anyone else fasting? If you are fasting and I've not spoken to you, type me. If you, are, if you did this 24 hours fast, Sister Vivian. Yes, Sister Vivian. Sister Vivian, have you broken your fast or you are still fasting? Type me if you if you are still fasting. In the past 24 hours, type me. The unction to prophesy just came on me. The unction to prophesy just came on me. Mashakalababa, broken it already. Didn't do a full day because of work and exams. I hear for you, Sister Lina, because you are a faithful daughter of God. You are faithful. In this ministry, you have been faithful. You have been consistent. And God is saying to you, because of your faithfulness, he will reward you. He will reward you. He will reward you. I hear pressure. There is so much pressure going on in your life right now. You are under series of pressure. But the Lord is saying that you should look away from these pressures. You should look unto him. That is the author and the finisher of your faith. That you should look away from this pressure. You should look away from this pressure. 
Look away from this pressure. Even sometimes you ask yourself, Lord, but I obey your word. I am born again. I, 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 I pay my tithe. I sow seed. Why is things still like this? God says you should relax. This is your year. He said, this is your year. Hmm. He said, I should tell you that he loves you so much. He said, tell her that I love her so much. Tell her that I see her sacrifice. Tell her that I see her tears, even those secret ones, that she should stop worrying, that you, Lina, Sister Lina, stop worrying. Trust in him the more. He said he loves you. He sees all your struggle. He said you should relax. He's already working it out for you. He's working it out in due time. You have been under so much pressure. Last year was very stressful for you. Last year you went through a lot, but still, in the midst of that difficulty, God still used different opportunities to prove to you how much he loves you. He said you should continue to be faithful. Continue to love him. Don't give up. Don't, don't give up. Sometimes you feel like giving up. Sometimes you feel like you want to break down. But he's giving you more strength than you can even imagine. He's deposited so much inside of you. You are a strong woman. Even you don't know it. The Lord says you are a strong woman. Very stronger than you think. You are really stronger than you think. And don't worry. He said he will elevate you. He will elevate you. Uh -huh. He said but not in the way you are expecting him to do it. The way he's going to do it is going to surprise you. Out of the blues. Out of, I'm hearing that, out of, from, not even where you are expecting this breakthrough to come from. Suddenly from where you did not expect, it will just come up like that. So continue to be faithful. Continue to be very, oh, say I'm weary. Don't worry, the Lord is your strength. Ha! Hmm. Kayada. Lepa kata sentetete. Ribragados kandalabash. Sister Vivian, Sister Vivian, hmm, you've had a tough season. You have run the past two years of your life has been very rough. Two years. The past two years of your life has been so tough, very rough. You went through a series of challenges. If not by his grace, you would have died. They plotted to kill you. He said, but I, the Lord, preserved you. I, the Lord, kept you. Because you are my beloved. Hey, She said, you are a star. The Lord says, you are a star. You are a star. And you are a light. I hear a light. You are a light. You are a star. And at the same time, a light. And that is why, ha, Masha Kataraba, the Lord says that your life is filled with glory. That he baited you with glory. He created you with so much glory. And that is why the enemies are fighting you. Because you are a child of destiny. You are a child of destiny. You are a child of destiny. But today, he is bringing you, I hear that. He said, if only you will put your hands in his that he's going to bring you out of that pit. He's going to bring you out of that pit. If you will trust him enough. If you will depend on him enough. If you will trust him enough. If you will depend on him enough. He's going to hold your hands. And walk you out of that pit. Out of that pit that the enemies has dug for you. He said you should relax. They cannot do you nothing. Because you are his beloved. He's watching over you. And then I hear jealously. He's guiding you jealously. He said you should, he said you should take things easy. That he's, he's got a plan. He's already bringing you out. And he's going to establish his purpose in your life. And that he's going to rewrite the story of your life. You will testify. Before the end of this year. Before the end of this year. You will experience a dramatic, a drastic drastic turn or change of circumstances that you yourself you will begin to marvel you begin to marvel and he said you should not give up and you keep telling yourself oh i am weak 
I am not strong. I'm hearing that. This is what you say to yourself. That you are, you are not strong. And that you are weak. And you cannot carry on. You cannot do that. He said, no. You are a strong woman. And that he has deposited so much. And again, I hear you worried. He said, you worry about your children. He said, you worried about your children. That you should forget about your children. He is taking care of them. He is taking care of them. He said, all you need to do is just pray for them. And then you said you should relax your mind. That you have so much, so much going on in your mind. You think a lot about different things. That you need to come back home to him. And you need to relax your mind. Because he has a plan also for you. And that in due season, you will experience a drastic turn of events. You will experience a drastic change in situation. And that you should just calm yourself down. Calm yourself. That this is a new year. And it's really a new beginning for you. And that he's already started changing things for you. But before you know it, those things will manifest. They will manifest. But you need to trust him more. You need to go back to your first love. I'm hearing that. He said, tell her to, say she needs to go back to her first love. You see, when you got saved, that love you had for him, you have to go back to that love. Go back to that love. Hi, Rabagatos. On the watch party, Sister Pat, Akmirigwe, is it Akmirigwe Pat, Sister Akmirigwe, Akmirigwe Pat, you said you fasted for the 24 hours. I am hearing that. The Lord himself is fighting your battles. You are surrendered by enemies. I hear that she's, I hear in your place of work, you are surrounded by enemies. Even in your family, you are surrounded by enemies. You have been through pain. You have been through tears. You have felt alone. You felt abandoned. But he said he has never left you. But you are sometimes unstable. You are going up and down, up and down like that. But that you should be steadfast in your services to him. That you should be strong in your services to him. And he said you should not worry. You lost something very valuable. Something precious to you. You lost something. Someone. Someone precious to you. I heard someone. You lost someone precious to you. And you thought your word has crumbled. He said not to worry. That you should... He said, I should tell you that he's the husband of the widow. Are you a widow? Sister Pat, are you a widow? He said he's the husband of the widow. I just heard he said, tell her, I am the husband of the widow. Ah, she said, yes, husband. Your husband passed away. Ah, and he said, tell her, I am the husband of the widow. And your husband passed away. My God. My God. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, Mashan Talabas. He said he's the husband of the widow. He's your husband. God is now your husband until he gives you another husband. Stay married to him. Stay away from immorality. Don't be tempted by all those temptations locking around you. He said you should trust him. You are having challenges too from in laws, from family members. You are having challenges. The Lord says he's going to fight for you and you will hold your peace. And he's saying it again. He said he will make your enemies your footstool. He will make your enemies your footstool. The Lord says he will make your enemies your footstool. All you need to do is to trust him. Follow him. Be obedient to his leading. Be obedient to his ways. Don't fight for yourself. I hear to, he said, don't keep enmity with anybody. Don't keep enmity with anybody. All the people, people have hurt you so bad. Even your husband's family. He said you should forgive everybody wholeheartedly. Just forgive them completely. And focus. Turn your attention to him. Turn your attention to him. Just the way you love your husband before he passed away. Love him like that. And you will see what he will do in your life. He will settle you again maritally. He will settle you. 
He said he will settle you, but in his time, you need to be patient. And you need to forgive everyone that has wronged you, offended you. I hear bitterness. Remove that bitterness from your heart. Flush it out. Tell the Lord to take it away. And let go of all those pains. Let go of those hearts. There is so much hurt in your heart. And the Lord says you should give it to him. Give him those pain. Give him those hurt in your heart. And let him take care of you. He's going to take care of you. He's going to take care of you. He's going to take care of you. You need to trust him more. Be faithful more. Hmm? And he said you should stop worrying. You worry too much. He said stop worrying. Don't worry. Stop worrying. He will handle every situation in your life. Rakalabas. Wow. God is so good. Who has, who has fasted and have not spoken to you? I think God is just speaking for those that fasted. Even if you fasted and you did not fast enough, but you fasted at all from that midnight until night, but you fasted at all. Everybody's just confirming what the Lord is saying. Namaka, did you fast or you didn't fast? Why am I hearing your name? Namaka, did you fast? Rabagadosi Katalabash. Masikete Legelegebos. How many of you fasted at all, even though you have broken your fast? But you fasted till any time, but you fasted. How many of you fasted? Namaka, you did not fast. Are you still online? Hmm. Now, Maka, I hear that you need to be stable. You need to be stable. You need to be stable. And you need to be faithful. It is true that you want him to do some things for you. But yet you doubt him. He said you should run close to him. Because there is a battle ahead of you. There is a battle ahead of you. You can even sense it that something is not right. Like something is not really right around you. You even can feel it. You can sense it. You can sense it like something is going on. It's true. Even in your dreams, you can see it that some things are not right. Some things are it's like you are feeling it. You can feel it. You feel it like something is, is off somehow. But God is saying that he knows. And then you too. That you need to give him total surrender. Complete surrender. Complete surrender. You need to give God total surrender. Not one leg in. Not one leg out. Both legs in. And he said that he will fight this battle for you. He will break that yoke. That yoke of, I hear stagnation, like your life has been stagnant. You are not moving forward. You are not going backwards. It's like you are just on the spot. You are just doing like a merry-go-round. You just rotate. You just rotate. You are just rotating on a spot. There is no progress. There is no promotion. Things are not happening the way you want it to happen. But God says this is your year too. Your year for a new beginning. Your year for a new beginning. He will begin to change things in your life. He will begin to change some things in your life. And they will manifest sooner than you expect. You are worried about even marital worries. You are worried about, worried about some certain things in your life. But God says he will take care of those things. But he wants you to love him. You need to love him first with all your heart, all your might, all your soul. 
You need to hold him tight and close. And then when you do that, he will, his glory will rest upon you. His fire and light will come upon you. And your star will begin to shine. You are also a star. And you are a child of destiny. Where you are now is not where God wants you to be. But household wickedness has tied you and pressed you down. Household wickedness. Household wickedness. That does not want your life to move forward. That does not want to see you progress. And they don't even want to see you happy. That's why sometimes you just find yourself depressed. You are just depressed. Suddenly you just become depressed. When you look at your situation, you just become depressed. Household wickedness. That is why you need to hold tight to him. Because that is the only way to fight this battle and break free. That is the only way to fight this battle and break free. Namaka, this is for you. That is how you can fight this battle so that you can break free and break loose. And then you begin to experience the supernatural touch of God. New levels have started already. And all of you that fasted, no matter the length of fast, you will experience that new level. And all of you connecting to this ministry and to the prayers, you will experience it. Namaka, God, Jesus said he loves you. He said, tell him I love him. Sometimes he feels I don't. Like sometimes you feel like God don't really love you. If God loves me, why this? Why that? Why am I like this? Why is this? No, don't do that. He said he loves you. I don't know. You didn't tell me, but he's telling me that sometimes you feel like he doesn't love you or he doesn't care. But God says he loves you. Jesus said he loves you. Tell him I love him. He loves you. You need to step up. Step up. And the grace has been given to you already. And I hear fear. I hear fear like you are... I don't know, for some reason, there are some things that is making you afraid or you are afraid of. I hear fear. You are afraid sometimes. You are afraid of some things. You have fear. Some things makes you fear. Maybe when you see these things, you, are, you get afraid. God says, don't be afraid. Delete fear. Exchange that fear for faith that everything is going to be okay with you. And everything will be okay. He will settle your case. He will settle your case. He will settle your case. Before the end of this year, you will experience, if you don't go back, before the end of this year, if you are steadfastly seeking him, before the end of this year, you will experience the supernatural in your life. Your doors are already opened. But, be, I don't know, he's still saying, come closer. You are not even close enough. Come closer. Closer to him. Draw nearer to him so that he will draw near to you. And together, you will fight this battle. And you will come out victorious. And this battle will cost life. Oh, somebody will die in your family this year. Somebody will die in your family that is responsible for this havoc. That person will die. But still, you need to be close to God. Close to God. It is well with you. In Jesus' name. If you fasted and I've not spoken to you, type me. Sister Maria, you just came on. I know you are fasting. Sister Maria, are you there? Yes, Sister Maggie. Where are the people that fasted? Where are they? Masha Kalabo. I heard Sister Maggie in my spirit. Masha Kalabo. Sister Maria, are you there? Are you already at work? Hmm. Masha Talabas. Lege de Bos Kandalabash. I just mentioned your name, Sister Maggie, and I'm seeing you. Mm -hmm. You see, I heard your name in the spirit, Sister Maggie. I was wondering where you are. Mas Kendeleboshi Kadababa. Sister Maria. God loves you so much. God loves you so much. God sees all your sacrifice. Sometimes this sacrifice you make is not convenient for you. But because of your love for God, 
you make it anyways. God says this is your year. This is your year. Your year of a supernatural lift. With speed. I hear him. He says, with speed, he will lift you. With speed. Because of your sacrifice. Because of your love and sacrifice. With speed, he's going to lift you. With speed, he's going to lift you to your next level. You've been asking him for this shift. You have been praying to him for this shift. You have been planning on how this shift is going to come. And step by step, he's been doing it. But this time, say with speed, you will surprise. Double acceleration, double promotions. And he said he has a, he has a package, surprise package for you. He's going to surprise you. Before the end of this year. You will look back to this January, look back to even the way you ended last year. You will celebrate. You will celebrate. Because the Lord of hosts says he's going to make your enemies your food too. And one thing again he said to you is to be strong. Because sometimes you feel like you are not strong. You feel like you are not strong. Sometimes you look and say, oh, you feel, sometimes you use like, I can't, I can't, I can't. And he's asking me, who told you you can't? Who told you you can't? He has deposited so much inside of you. You need to let them out. And he said that you have bottled so much down that you are beginning to, you are, ah, you have bottled so many things, even your gifting, so many giftings he gave to you. You have, you, you yourself, you have suppressed them. And they are gifts that he has given to you for your shifting levels. You are a writer. You are a writer or you are supposed to be a writer. But you are pressing down those gifts. You are looking at yourself. You are rating yourself with your background, with your past, uh, whatever. And you are conforming to all those things. No, he said you have to break loose. You need to break free from it. So that you can run with this speed. You need to change your mindset. Don't be looking down on your own self. Because he does not see you how you see yourself. I know you understand what you're at, but I, I know you know what I'm talking about. I know you know what I'm talking about. This year, you need to rise up. Sister Maria, you need to rise up and step into the position that God has already ordained for you. This is your year. For supernatural shift in levels. And for this level to be shifted, it's going to be in all dimensions, including your writing dimension. Go and wake up those giftings in you. Go and pick up your pen and paper or your laptop, wherever, where you hide it, where you hid it, where you abandoned it. Within three months, give your time to it. Shift your focus from yourself to God. And you will see. Things will happen. Things will happen in your life. Hmm. Sister Maggie. The Lord called you his beloved. Say she's my beloved. Say yes she is. The Lord called you his beloved. Sister Maggie. You yourself, you don't even know how much God loves you. You don't even know how much he loves you. Because he has given you a, spe a special kind of heart. Love for people. Love for the poor. Love for the, the... A special kind of love is put in your heart. That... When you see these people, you feel like you should remove your clothes and give it to themself if you could help it. It's a special kind of gift that he has given to you. And he said, that gift is for ministry. I'm hearing it. I see head ministry. Now, you need to understand that when God is talking about ministry, it's not to, it, ministry is not only to preach. Your own ministry is a kind of, it is 
it is a unique kind of ministry. And it is a specific kind of ministry. And that is why this kind of heart is in you. A heart to love people. You cannot stand to see somebody suffering. It is, I don't know, you didn't tell me this, but that's what the Holy Ghost is saying to me, that you can't stand to see somebody suffering. You want to just empty yourself and give to them. It is the heart he has given to you for ministry. It is connected to your ministry. He put it, I'm hearing the shelter. 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 To minister to the homeless. To minister to the needy. And to be sponsor. Sponsor. You will sponsor programs. Church programs. Missions. You are a wealthy woman. The devil is messing with your finance. But you are a wealthy woman. You are so rich. You are so rich. It may be looking like now you are restricted because of financial constraint. But God says you are in this season. And it is a season you need to go through. You need to go through this season so that he can mold you. Because this is the best time for him to shape on you. To shape on you to suit his plans and his purpose. And so for every pressure you are going through, that pressure is for your shaping. For every challenge you are going through now, and you are going to go through it for a while, this season will last a little while longer. But just be patient. This season is grooming you. The Lord wants to use it to groom you. And she said, that's what I've been doing. Huh? The Lord wants to use this season to groom you. So don't give up when the going gets tough. But he said that you should relax, that he's going to settle everything concerning your life. Financially, maritally, ministry-wise. Hmm. He said he's already fighting for you. That those witches, those demons, household wickedness, powers from your father's and mother's house that is waging war against you, he's already dealing with them. He said this year you will hear news of their death. This year, you, when, he, when it is time for him to catapult you to your level, many will die in your family. They will die. And you know it, that you have some evil people. You know it, because he is already showing signs of what he is doing. He's already fighting on your behalf. So as to cut off their hands from off your life. He said you should relax. Don't worry. That the battle is not yours. But he wants you to be connected. And then you worry about the Holy Ghost. Sometimes you get confused about the Holy Ghost. He said you should relax. One day at a time. One day at a time. He will bring you there. And everything is going to like come up in one time. Like you will just get this job. You will just get everything. It's just going to like. It's going to like bombard you in a rush. It's going to be like multiple acceleration for you because of your sacrifice. Multiple acceleration. But he said you need to be patient. This season of dryness is, uh -huh. he said you are in your season of dryness. That is why the struggle is there. You are undergoing the season of dryness. But even in this season of dryness, Ah, look at that. She said she was praying about that even yesterday. Even in this season of dryness, be faithful. Continue doing what you are doing. He said you are on the right track. You have not done anything wrong. Sometimes you think, oh God, Lord, <laughs> this is you. What I hear the Holy Ghost say. That sometimes you are wondering, say, Lord, did I commit any sin? Why is my situation like this? Why is something, this thing so hard? You'll be thinking maybe you've sinned against God. Though. He said, no, you've not sinned. That is not the reason why. I don't know you do that. Do you do that? <laughs> I don't know you do that. Don't do that. He said, no, it is not because of... You do that. Wow. It is not because of any sin. It is because you have to go through this season. You are in your training period. You are in your grooming period. And this is the best way he can groom you. 
so that you'll be able to withstand, so that you can be strong enough. He's building you into that strong woman that he has created you to be. So don't go thinking, oh, maybe you committed a sin, or maybe that is why. No, it's not. It is a season that he himself has permitted, that he's using to groom you and train you. So don't be thinking negatively like that, no. But you have to go through this season. I don't know how long this season is going to last. But even in this season, he will provide all your needs. So it's not like he will lack food. He will provide all your needs in this season. But it's just that there will still be a little bit of struggle. But just be persistent. Continue to be persistent. Continue to be persistent. Persistent. Continue to do what you are doing. Continue your giving. Continue sacrificing. Continue sowing with the little you have. Just continue to be persistent. And he said you should not worry. In his time, when he's ready for you, your own tongue, the kind, your tongue is going to come with power. Hi, Mark Calabos. It's going to come with power. When he opens your, your spirits up, when it flows out of you, it's going to come with so much power. <laughs> so much power. That is why the delay. But you should relax. Don't force anything. He's planning everything. Yours, your own pattern is like seasonal. You have season for this, season for that, season for this. But in all of this season, he's with you. You are not alone. So relax your mind and focus. He said you should focus. Don't let nothing take away your prayer life and your Bible study life. And your fellowship life. Be persistent and consistent. After this dry season, you come into the next season of your life. It's going to be awesome. And the way your ministry will start, your shelter will be built. You'll be surprised. He is going to raise people for you. Just relax and be patient. Don't rush ahead of him. Okay, Sister Maggie. Sister Marcia, I heard you, I saw Sister Marcia, are you online? Did you fast? Wow, look at how the Holy Ghost just took over this. this. Sister Marcia, let me see your message if you're online. Sister Marcia, let me see if you're online. We are going to pray generally. Just relax, Sister Kim. Sister Marcia, are you online? Did you fast? You always fast with us anyway. Sister Master, you are pursuing something great. You are pursuing something. But it is a bit challenging. You are trusting God for something specific. Actually, I heard three specific things. Three. There are three major amongst all. Three major things you are trusting God for to settle your life with. Three. I had, I had three in the spirit. Three specific. And these three things you are trusting him for, they are very important to you. And sometimes it stresses you out. Sometimes you feel like you are, not, you are stuck. Sometimes you feel like you are not making headway. Sometimes you feel like you are too slow. Like it's not coming as quick as you want it to come. But the Lord says you should be patient. That he has given you a promise. And he will fulfill that promise. He said I should tell you to trust him. That those three things you are asking for. They will manifest. You didn't tell me about it. But the Holy Ghost told me I heard it three. Specific. Important. The Lord says be patient in his timing. And you are even walking towards it. You are walking towards achieving some of them. He said you should continue. You are on point. You are on the right track. But that you should trust him. He said you should Proverbs 3, 5. Trust him with all your heart. And lean not unto your own understanding. Don't lean on your own understanding. Don't think, oh, I know how I can do it. If I do it, no. 
Don't lean onto your own understanding, otherwise you will miss it. But rather trust him with all your heart, and he will bring your expectations to pass. Sister Marcia, this is for you. He will bring it to divine fulfillment. He said, this is your year. You are going to encounter a supernatural breakthrough this year. But you need to trust him. Trust him. And then you worry. I hear worry, worry. Quit worrying. Stop worrying. Do not worry about anything. He said, the only thing you need to do is to rest your own will in his. You worry about your age, you worry about marriage, you worry about this, you worry about that, you worry about all these things you worry about. He sees you, he knows. Don't worry about them. He said you should let, give it to him and let him handle it for you. Let him handle them for you. He said you should take it one day at a time. One step at a time. And he will bring you to your expected end. Take it one step at a time. And he will bring you to your expected end. You worried so much last year, Sister Masia. This year, live your life without worry. Because you cannot do it. I, the Lord, will do it for you. And he said, I should ask you, is anything too hard for him to do? And then when you begin to worry, you begin to doubt. You even doubt. You doubt. You doubt. Don't. Don't doubt. Trust him wholeheartedly. Trust him completely. And he will bring your expectations to pass in his time. Do all you need to do. Train all the training you need to train. Play your part and leave him to play his part. He loves you. And he wants you to come closer to him too. He wants you to spend more time with him. More time in his word. More time in prayer. More time in his word. More time in his prayer. There is not. Nothing is too hard for him to do. So put your confidence in him. And he said I should tell you to beware of men. Beware of men. Don't put your trust in any man. Don't put your trust in anybody. Put your trust in him. Put your confidence in him alone. He's the one that will put it in the heart of those people to help you. Do you understand that? He's the one that will put it in their hearts to help you. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Father. Libra Gados Candalabash and Terribas. A new beginning. A new beginning. Some of you, you are going to experience your new beginning very quick. Quicker than your expectations. For some of you, it will come even in the mid-year. For some of you, there are different times for our beginnings. Some will be instant. Some will begin to follow. But in all, God wants you to be faithful. New dimensions. The Lord is establishing us in different areas of dimensions in our lives. Hey, Lorenzo Gabriel, you need to love God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul. You need to love God with everything in you. I don't know you. I've never, maybe you've come online once or twice. But I hear that you need to love God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul. Mabinti. God says you need to draw closer to him. Closer. This year, 
Make it a priority to come closer to him. You are a bit far away. He said you should come back. Come back. Be strong in him. You are facing attacks because of how you, you are taking your life or how you see him. You need to let go of your own wisdom and connect to his own wisdom. You need to come back. Your miracle that would have happened last year out of carelessness. Carelessness, you allow the enemy to steal your miracle. You allow the enemies to steal your miracle because of carelessness. I hear it. Your miracle was supposed to come last year. You missed it. Because you were not properly positioned for it. It went past you. You allowed it to go past you. Ah. Go and pray and ask God for mercy. And choose not to be careless this year. Otherwise, it will still pass you. Choose not to be careless this year. Your miracle twins. Twin babies. You are supposed to have a boy and a girl. Pre you are supposed to get pregnant last year. With a baby boy and a baby girl. But carelessness. Carelessness has caused delay. Twins. One boy, one girl twin. You were supposed to have a twin babies. You are supposed to be pregnant with twins last year. You allowed yourself to be carried away. And you missed your opportunity to have them. To be pregnant with them last year. I pray God to have mercy. And bring them back to you. And bring them back to you. And bring them back to you. Go back to God and cry out. And ask him for mercy. Go and beg him for forgiveness. Beg him for mercy. Twins. One boy. One girl. You are supposed to be pregnant with them last year. I don't know what happened to you. Just when they were supposed to come, you shifted. And you allowed them go past. And then you opened the door for the enemies again. You need to undergo another deliverance. Because they are back. You have to undergo another deliverance now. And go and ask God for forgiveness and for mercy. God is a faithful God and his word will never return to him empty. His word must accomplish its purpose. Masha Karabas. Hmm. Thank you, Father. Oh, Lord, we cry out for mercy, Lord. Everybody begin to ask God for mercy. Mercy, because carelessness has caused us to lose some important things in our lives. Carelessness has caused doors to be opened, has exposed us to the attacks of the devil. Lord, we cry out for mercy. Lord, we cry out for mercy. Lord, we cry out for mercy. Anything that we have carelessly lost, go to God, everybody, asking for mercy. If there is a blessing that was supposed to come to you last year, but that we allowed carelessness to steal away from us, ask him for mercy. Oh, Father, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Oh, God, have mercy. We cry out for mercy. Hey, she bragado si katalaba. 
Lord, have mercy on us. Have mercy on us, Jesus. Have mercy, Lord, we cry out for mercy. Whatever we have used carelessness to chase out of our lives, have mercy. Whatever we have allowed sin to take away from us, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Oh, God, have mercy. We cry out for mercy, Lord. We cry out for mercy, Lord. We cry out for mercy. Oh, bagados candarabas Lendes candela vos in tarabas. Oh, Father. Liota. Sister Liota. God says I should tell you that he loves you. Sister Liota. I don't know when I'm seeing some names, it flashes and God will say something. As your name came up, it, it my eyes just caught it. He said he loves you. He sees your struggle. You have really suffered. You are really you have really suffered from childhood. You have really suffered from childhood. But it is your new beginning too. But God says you have to be faithful to him. Continue to be faithful to him. Because of that, you were entangled. So many years of your life was wasted. Wasted years. Hi. Before you came on this ministry. Wasted years. Valuable years. Years of your youth. Wasted by the enemy. Hmm. You even look at yourself, even when you think about those years, you, you hurt, it hurts you so bad. You feel so bad, like these are the time when you are supposed to actually plan for your life, but the enemies, out of what you are going through, but God says he started your own last year. He started your elevation last year. He's going to restore your wasted years. He said not to worry about those wasted years. Sometimes it, when you think about it, 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 it makes you sad and unhappy. But God said you should let it go. He said he has forgiven you for all your mistakes. You made a lot of mistakes in your life. A lot of mistakes. Some mistakes by circumstances beyond your control. Some mistakes, deliberate one. But still, he beautified your life, even in that your mistake. That is because he loves you. And he sees your heart, that you have a pure heart. You have a, you have a sincere heart. And that is what has been guiding you throughout this year. The enemies wanted to destroy you. <laughs> Their plans was to destroy you completely. If not for God, you will still have been in that same wasted, wasted years, wasted life for years, years to come. Not even now. You will grow old in it. And then 50, 60 years, you look back, you will cry and cry and cry. But by his mercies, he located you and he started to elevate you. He has already started a new chapter in your life. Your own beginning have already started. It has already started. And to encourage you, he gave you that Christmas gift. You know what I'm talking about. Just so you know how much he loves you. They didn't even want you to see that Christmas. But he intervened. He preserved you. You need to love him with all your heart. Love him with all your soul. Henceforth. Love him with everything you've got inside. Love him with all of you. And relax. He said he will settle you. 
he will settle you. Continue to be faithful. He's going to settle you by himself. He's going to settle you by himself. And he will restore your wasted years. He's already smiling on you. He will restore those wasted years. He will restore those wasted years. Go and mark it. Write it down. He will restore every of that wasted years. He's going to give you triple for your trouble. Triple for your trouble. He's going to give you triple for your trouble. He's going to give you triple for your trouble. Labagadosi katarabash. Ibragados kendeleboshi in tarabas. God bless you, man of God, I think. He says you quit worrying. Don't worry. The worst is over. Sister Lyota, the worst is over. The worst is over in your life. A new dawn has come of, it has come for you. This is your new beginning. This year, you are start, starting, you've already started on a clean slate. Keep it clean. Keep it clean. Keep it clean. Keep it clean. And trust him for the rest. He said, that song just came for you. I'm confident of this very routine. Do you know it? I just heard that song. That he who has begun his work in me, he shall perfect it until the day of Jesus. He shall perfect it until the day of Jesus Christ. <laughs> he will perfect it until the day of Jesus. Go and learn that song, Leota. That song is for you. I'm confident of this very thing. That he who has begun his work in me, in you, he will perfect it until the day. He's not just perfecting it now. Until the day of Jesus. If you do not. But I know they play that love on my platform. Now, why? Now, now, make us jealous. Don't distract the spirit of God. <laughs> God bless you, man of God. Hey, Labragados Kandalabash. Prokotos Kantalabos Interior. Like Baskenteri Bakatoli Babasenteria. Reprokotos Kandalabash Interi Bakatos Interior. <laughs> you will laugh you will dance you will laugh you will dance you will laugh you will dance like David this year in the name of Jesus man of God Emmanuel God have already smiled on you heaven have smiled on you I hear that your doors are opened. Your doors are opened. And I'm hearing this for you, man of God, Pastor Emmanuel, that if you are willing, that if you are willing and obedient, you will eat the best of the land. Pastor Emmanuel, if you are willing and obedient, if you are willing and obedient, I hear with patience, with patience, you will eat the best of the land. God has some amazing things in store for you. And you know it. And he said he told you. He told you already. You know. You know some of them he already told you. Some he hasn't told you. But before he will move you to the next level, he wants to see how well you make use of this level. 
before he will shift you to the next level. He wants to see how well you manage this level. And then he will shift you to your next level. Great is the faithfulness. Great is the faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have needed, thy hands has provided. Great is your faithfulness. Lord unto me. Great is the faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have needed, thy hand has provided. Great is the faithfulness, Lord, unto us. I just heard a song floating. I heard a song and I had to sing it. Sing it if you know it. Great is the faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have needed, thy hands has provided. Great is the faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Can you sing it from your heart? Sing it from your heart. As you are singing it, it's going to minister to you. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have needed, thy hands has provided. Great is the faithfulness. Lord unto us. Money by money, his mercies we see. Lagarabosi katarabashi kites. How many people here are born again? We're still going to pray. We've not done praying. But this is what I'm being led to do now. You are born again and you don't speak in tongue. Now is your time. If you are ready, type me. I know Sister Geraldine. Sister Geraldine, are you still online? Type yes. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have needed, thy hands has provided. Sister Mabiti, God told me you were crying. Stop crying. Don't cry, okay? Your twins will come. They will come. It's not over yet. Don't cry. As I was talking, you were crying, huh? Do not cry. I just heard that, that you were crying. Don't cry. Be happy. God is able. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. Sister Jeredin, are you ready? Put your hand on your forehead. All I have needed, thy hands has provided. Great is your faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Your babies will come. Don't cry. Don't cry. How do I know you are crying? <laughs> Don't cry. Relax. Okay, Sister Geraldine is ready. Who else needs the baptism of the Holy Ghost? You are born again. Type me. Apart from Sister Geraldine, anyone else? I will pray for her only. Morning 
Morning by morning, new messes I see. All I have needed, your hands has provided. Great is the faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Put your right hand on your forehead. Those of you that need the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Put your right hand on your forehead. Now pray for yourself. Say, Jesus. Let the promise you made come upon me. Let the comforter come upon me. Let the heavens be opened unto me. Let the gift of tongues be released to me. Say, Lord, I receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Baptize my life with your fire and your spirit. Lord, let my tongues be loosed and utterances be given to me. As you are praying, free yourself. Don't be too stiff. Relax. Sister Vivian, relax. Release yourself. Release yourself, free yourself, and free your mind. Be ready to speak. Now, when you want to, when we speak in tongues, we speak miseries. It is a spiritual language, and God alone understands it. So don't try to make sense of what you are what you are speaking, because you will fail. Just let it flow. The apostles in the book of Acts, chapter two, were in the upper room. Gathered together, readily waiting for the, uh, the for the gift that was promised by, by by Jesus, the Comforter. He came like tongues of fire, and then he he he, he, he the, the tongues of fire rest, re, uh, rested on the apostles, and they all began to speak in diverse tongues. You may not understand what you are speaking, but you are speaking misery. And so you start praying in English. When I finish praying with you, all translations will be given to you. Release yourself. Don't be too stiff. Free your mind. Free your heart. Don't make sense of it because you will miss it. You will miss it. Lord, I pray for everyone now that needs the gift of the Spirit, that needs the gift of tongues. I begin to pray let the heavens be opened to them right now. All trances be released to them right now. Let the gift flow from their head to their toe. Let the baptism of the Holy Ghost rest upon their lives by fire. In the name of Jesus. Receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Let your tongue be loosed now. In the name of Jesus. The Holy Ghost is upon you already. Start praying. And then. Start praying in that unknown language. You will not understand what you are speaking, so don't even try to listen to yourself. It can be anything. Rabba, Katosin, Talabas. Just pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray. Your tongues are loose. All trances be released to you. If you believe, you need to have it. You need to believe it. La prakatos kandaraba. Likete maskende riba katolia. She prokotos can deribo kotorika la katosia. Mas ken terebo sen te 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 te. Receive it, receive it, receive it. Receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Receive it, receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it. Le bagada receive it. Mas can talabas. Your tongues are loose right now. Your tongues are free right now. Begin to speak in the Holy Ghost. Begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in English and then switch to the tongues. It is an unknown tongues. It will flow naturally. From your belly, it will flow out of your mouth in the name of Jesus. Rapakatas kendele boshikata. Reba baba baba skendele boko toria. Mas kende riba kato sentelia. Kuragada da bas kentele bo sikete te 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 te. 
Mashente rebosi kataraba leprokotos kandala ba shente rebos reprakata kuka katala ba katos shente rebos rebokotos kente rebos shintaraba ibagada ba shente rebos shintaraba lagada ba shente rebos shintaraba labagada rebokotori kala katos ya bagados shente te 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 le bagados kandala ba ibragados shente le le receive the gift of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray in tongues now. Pray in tongues. Pray in tongues. The gift of tongues has been released unto you. Now use it. Pray it. If you believe, you start speaking. If you doubt, it goes back. Until you are ready again. Just pray. Pray in that unknown language. Le in telebos. Re pokotos ken telebos. Re bragadadabas ken telebos. Receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Holy Spirit, pour your fire. Pour your baptism upon them. In the name of Jesus. Makatore bokoto likala katosia. Oh, riprakatatatatatata. Receive him now. Receive him. Receive him. You are the one that will receive him. I cannot do it for you. I cannot help you to speak it out. You are the one that needs to open your mouth, and from the abundance of your heart, it flows. It flows. It flows. It flow. It flows. It flows. Mashik harabos. Rabagados, begin to speak it. Begin to pray, three of you. I saw Vivian, Sister Vivian, Sister Maggie, and Sister Geraldine. Three of you, receive him now. Receive him and begin to testify if you are speaking or not. If you are not speaking, now you call some. If you are speaking, it is still you that calls it. You cause it by accepting to open your heart. You need to open your heart and don't make any sense of it. Oh, let us know what's going on with you now. Great is your faithfulness. Holy Ghost, locate them. Lose their tongues. Makata. Ibagada. Ibagada. Letetetete. Oh, ribagados. Kandala Baba. The Holy Spirit is a practical thing. Now you see me speaking like this, speaking in different tongues. It did not start today. I've been speaking from my youth. So you can't be like me. You can start from somewhere and then you walk it up. It's something you develop and you improve and bam, it's all good. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. How many of you are speaking in tongues? How many of you received? If you received, confirm me that you received. Sister Geraldine, did you receive or you are struggling? That's why I like to see faces of people when I'm praying. I don't like to pray like this. But Facebook don't make them easy for us anymore. But when you're praying for people and you're not seeing them, you don't know what is happening. Sister Maggie, you receive? Hey! Praise the Lord! Wow! Wonderful! Sister Geraldine, and uh, who, is, who is the other person? Some of you receive new tongues. Who receive new tongues? Um, hey, Sister Vivian received praise the Lord. Chai, <laughs> Sister Geraldine, you need faith. You are the only one left. Oh, out of the three of you, two have received. You are the only one left. You don't struggle to speak in tongues, it's a natural thing. Oh, yeah, one more time receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Ooh. Receive him now. Let your tongue be loose and all trances be given to you. Receive, 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 receive. Receive, receive, receive in the name of Jesus. Receive him by fire. Receive him. I say receive. Let your tongue be loose. You need to have it. You need to believe. And you need to lose in yourself. Free yourself. Mashik harabas kendelebos. All I know is that the Holy Spirit is there and he has given you the utterance. So it's you that will activate it. 
It's just that we speak it out. I can help you speak it out. I can only help you lead you to my uh, lead you to. You see, your man of God is tired. <laughs> ah, in easy ministry. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Mashantarabas. Rabagados kendelelelebos. Sister Geraldine, I know that the Holy Ghost is in you already. All transits has been given to you. You have to speak it out. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Father God. We are just there. Uh, let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. 2020 must work for us. In fact, let's begin to prophesy. Into this 2020. Masantalabas seketeri bagadosia. Ibragados kenterebos cantalaba. Lagalagabas kendelebos in taraba. Masson torobos kanderi gagabas and talabas in teria. Ah, ha, ha. you can't stop. Uh -huh. Somebody receive extra. Say, now I believe is you say you can't stop, mommy. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you are going to type, I can't stop. You can't stop. That is the power of the Holy Ghost. That is the power of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> hey, those of you that received today, baptism of the Holy Ghost, new tongues, fresh fire. Aha, uh -huh. fresh fire. How many people need fresh fire? You need fresh fire, fresh fire. I want to release fire on you now. Fresh fire. I want to pray for fresh fire. You have to serve the Lord very well this year. Ah, maskendelebo sikatarabas. Fresh fire, fresh anointing, unction to function. This year, you cannot live anyhow. Fire of God. How many people want that fire? You're going to receive it. You begin to hear. You begin to feel this fire. How many people want this fire? How many people want this fire? Fire, fire from above. Fire, fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. It just popped out and then my spirit picked it up. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Hey, fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Lepaka ta 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 ta. Put your right hand on your forehead, wherever you are. Some of you, it will come in form of explosive tongues. You see yourself blasting in tongues, even in new tongues. Some of you, you just begin to feel something. Begin to feel the presence of God. You begin to feel the wave of heat or cold. You begin to feel his presence. A fresh fire of the Holy Ghost. We need more fire. Hey, put your right hand on your forehead like that. Fire of the Holy Ghost. All over you now. All of you that desire more fire. Receive fire. Holy Ghost, pump your fire into them. Pump your fire into them. Pump your fire into them. Fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Receive it. At the count of five. At the count of five, Holy Ghost, begin to deposit this fire in them. Let them feel that fire in their body. Let them experience heat in their body. Let them feel that fire. At the count of five, one, two, three, four, five. Now, drop it. Drop it in them. Drop it in them. Fire. Fire. Now, begin to blast in tongues. Begin to blast in the Holy Ghost. Begin to pray in tongues. La bragadas. Epokotos cantaraba. Receive more fire. Receive more utterances. Receive more fire. Receive more utterances. Receive more fire. Receive. 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 Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire of the Holy Ghost. All over you. All of you that have your hand on your head. Right now, Holy Spirit. Pump your fire. Let it flow through their hands, into their head, through all their body. Sensations. Lay a card about somebody feeling sensation all over your body from your head to your toe. Power of the Holy Ghost. Right now. Fire. Fire. More fire. 
Lord, pour your fire into us. More of your fire in us. More of your fire in us. Libra gada da 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 da. Ye bagada ba sintere bo kutela bakataraba. Receive that fire from above. Receive that fire from above. Receive that fire from above. Reprokotos kantalaba. Leke teri bakatalaba. Fire of the Holy Ghost to quicken your mortal bodies to enlighten you. Mas kantaraba. Fire of the Holy Ghost kantalaba. Libra gada da 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 ba. Shinterebo, Ibagada da basete rebo sinerebo. Le bagada basete te te te. Ripokotos kandalaba, likatos kandalaba. Fire, fire, fire from your head to your toe, 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 from your head to your toe. Receive that fire now. Receive that fire now. Receive that fire now. Receive that fire now. Mashantala basket nedebos, lebra la la basket telebos, rabagada sendelebos in taraba, rabagada rebos sendelebos, cantaraba shekete. More fire, more fire upon your lives. More fire upon your ministries. More fire upon your children, your family. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire, fire. Receive more of Him. Mashantalaba. Lekete kukaka ta 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 ta. La prakatos kendelebo shintaraba. Hey, basantarabas kendelebo shintaraba. Librakatos kendelebo sinte bakata basenderebas. Ah. Oh, Jesus. Larry for. Let it fall. Let it fall. Let it flow. Calabasin telebos. Let that fire begin to quicken your mortal bodies. Your spirit man be quickened. In the name of Jesus. That fire is already released inside of you. Check it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. You touch me as with your hands. My life changed, Jesus. You touched my life with your hands. And my life became a new one. Jehovah touched my life with your hands. My life changed. The Lord is touching somebody and changing your life. Turning things around for you. The Egyptians we saw today, brethren, you will see them no more. In the name of Jesus, you are fired up for this year. You are fired up for his glory. Make sure you walk in that fire. Make sure you walk in that fire. Some of you, you'll just be surprised. You want to pray for 20 minutes. When you stand up, you'll be surprised it's one hour gone already. Oh, you want... That is it. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Oh, for those of you that will believe, that believe in the word, it's a fresh start. And a new beginning. The Lord has already gone ahead of us. To make every crooked path straight. To make every crooked path straight. Hey, whoa. Hey, I hope it's not awful. Jesus is Lord. Hey, hey, devil, you're a bastard. Oh. <laughs> hey, whoa. Ah, thank God the thing did not off. Hey. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> praise the Lord. Ah, praise the Lord. We have 10 minutes to go. Hallelujah. A new beginning. <laughs> yes, so. Oh. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. It's a new beginning. The Lord is going to, after the communion, the Lord is going to speak to you. 
I'm going to going to pray. I'm going to pray that God will speak to you personally. And he's going to speak to you personally. Hallelujah. Now, I want to I want to read some scriptures for us while we wait for 10 minutes before we break our fast. We are breaking our fast in 10 minutes. So have your communion ready. Have your communion ready. Jeremiah 29, 11. Jeremiah 29, 11. Listen to this. It says, For I know the plans I have for you. Oh, she said, Mommy, I really needed that word from the Lord. Wow. It's not me. I didn't plan it, but the Holy Ghost just took over. He wanted us to do it. And so he wanted to speak and he has he has spoken. But now let us go to the word of God. So the best way to start the year. You already know what you are expecting. Jeremiah 29, 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Now look at God's plan. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Now this is the plan of God for your life. This is the promise of God for your life. That is why you must not accept anything else. You cannot accept poverty. Prosperity, poverty is not prosperity. He says, he said, declare plans to prosper. Uh -uh. Prosperity is your inheritance. That is the plan of God for you and for me, for us, to prosper us, not to harm us. It is the devil's plan to harm us, but God's plan is to prosper us. So that is why you must prosper, you must be blessed. Because it is in the plan of God. It is the will of God. Plan to give you a hope and a future. If you are here hopeless, like you have lost hope on things or on life situation, but God is here to give you a hope, not just a hope, and a future. I'm so hot now. Suddenly I'm feeling heat and it's surging from my two feet. It's, it's like chills on my two legs and it's walking up. It's coming up like this. Hmm. How many of you felt fire when I prayed for you? This is the plan of God for you. So you must claim it. When the devil says you cannot get a job, tell the devil to shut up. Because God's plans for you is to prosper you. So you need to get a job. If you don't get a job, how are you going to pay tight? If you don't pay tight, how are we going to run ministry? If you don't sow seeds, how are we going to host programs? So you have to get that job. Documents. Documents has to come by fire. Because children of God must work. Uh, it's the same thing I'm feeling. On my lower body, I'm feeling cold. My upper body, I'm feeling heat. I'm feeling heat upper. I'm feeling cold down. I'm feeling cold and heat as well. You see, you are feeling what I'm feeling. <laughs> hey. Okay, now, look at this one. Uh -huh, Sister Carol said she felt cold. That was the Holy Ghost. He comes in any form. He comes as a heat and he comes as a cold. Hallelujah. Look at, um, look at uh, this thing. Ah, uh, even Naomi. Wow, you... Me too. Wow, everybody. Hallelujah. See, Holy Ghost is just touching us, eh? Refueling and refiring us for the year. We are so ready. We are ready for this year. It's going to be an awesome year. Let's see Deuteronomy 31 verse 8. 31 verse 8. Deuteronomy 31 8. The Lord himself goes before you. And we be with you. This is a promise that God is going before you. 
So when God is going before you, you come to encounter some things on the road. You will speak to those things. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Are you blind? Sickness, are you blind? Stagnation, failure, are you blind? Disappointment, are you blind? Don't you see that the Lord has gone before me? Clear off my way. It says, the Lord, the Lord himself goes before you and, and will be with you. And will be with you. He will never, never leave you nor forsake you. That is why you must not be afraid. And do not be discouraged. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Don't be afraid of their faces. All those your boss at work call you for a meeting. They do face like this. You to do your own like that. The Lord has already gone ahead of you. <laughs> hey, do not be afraid this year. Refuse to be afraid this year. And never you be discouraged. Don't ever be discouraged. Don't let any life situations discourage you. Don't let any life situation discourage you. Okay, see Joshua 1 9. Joshua 1 9, we got our communion already. Joshua 1 9. It says, Have I not com commanded you? So God is not even asking you, God is not telling you, He is commanding us. Have I not commanded you? Command is an order. Is an order. God is giving you an order. Be strong and courageous. So now, God is commanding you, giving you an order, like in, like when, like a, when a captain is giving the soldier command. Copra, yes sir. Go and bring me that water, yes sir. There's a command. And God is saying, have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. God is saying, Lois, yes, sir. Be, uh, be strong. Yes, sir. Courageous. Yes, sir. No arguments. No controversy. Do not be afraid. Again, no. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. That means not only in one verse, not in two, not in three. I will be with you to the end of so many promises of God being with us. So in the journey of your life, you are not journeying alone. The Lord is going with you. The Lord is journeying with you. So never you feel like you are alone. Never you feel like you are lost. No. Philippians 4, 6. I'm going to read this one. And then we are going to, after the communion, we, read, we end with Psalm 23. Philippians 4, 6 and 7. Say, do not be anxious about anything. You that have God going with you, walking with you. Why are you anxious? But in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guide your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Will guide your hearts, will guide your mind in Christ Jesus. Father, we thank you. Lord, we bless your name. We thank you for your word that you have spoken. We thank you, faithful God, because we believe that you are with us in the name of Jesus. Father, we had even, we have already started this journey and we have started it with you. 
We have started it right. You have promised us. And we are keeping and trusting and hoping and standing on your promises for the whole of this year. Even unto eternity. Lord, that you will continue to preserve our lives, protect us. Father, today, our, our waiting on you is for new dimension. It's for new beginning. It is for supernatural shift. We decree and declare that our shifts in level has occurred in the name of Jesus. It has already started. Lord, you are taking us from this level to the next. Lord, you are opening those doors in our lives. Lord, you are catapulting us to where you want us to be, where we should be. We don't want to be behind. Father, we want to be ahead and forward every time. Lord, we thank you because, oh God, in 2018, our glory must shine. Our star must shine. No power can keep us down. No man, no woman can keep us down. Our hope is built on nothing less than your blood and your righteousness. Father God, we are depending on you. We are relying on you to carry us through this year. In the name of Jesus. And you will fulfill everything that concerns us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Get your communion. Amen. Got your communion. Let's bless it. Get your wine and your, your bread representing the blood of Jesus. And if anybody wants me to pray on their water, I will pray on your water after the communion. If you have anointing oil, you want me to bless, let me know. I will bless it after the communion. Father, we thank you for the grace to wait upon you for 24 hours. And Lord, we are breaking our fast with this communion. Lord, this communion is for new beginning. It is for a supernatural shift in levels. This communion is for new dimensions in our lives. This communion is for open doors. This communion is for favor. Divine, uncommon favor in the name of Jesus. Lord, men will favor us this year. Women will favor us this year. Offices, our jobs, everywhere will favor us in the name of Jesus. We sanctify this communion in the name of God, the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. This is the cracker representing your flesh and the wine representing your blood. As we eat and drink, we will not eat and drink unto condemnation and damnation in the name of Jesus. But we will drink, we will eat and drink unto changes in level, greater heights, new beginning, supernatural shift, promotion, progress. Lord, as many that are sick in their body, let this communion heal them of that sickness. Lord, those that are trusting for the fruit of the womb as well, it is also a shift in level. Let this communion heal and prepare their wombs to carry their children. In the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Ghost. Thank you, faithful Father. And we also use it for our children. Lord, their lives and cases are settled in Jesus' name. Amen. Take your bread. It is the flesh. It is the body of Christ that was shed for us. And your wine, it is the blood that was shed for us. Praise the Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Wow, congratulations, everybody. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Father, because this communion seals our fasting and our waiting on you. Ah, oh, wow. It is settled. It is settled. Mm. I suddenly felt 
a kind of peace that is out of this world just now just came suddenly on me like this so peaceful how many of you felt like that so peaceful hmm. that is a sign that it is settled hmm. it is settled it is settled even the devil knows he has lost the battle even the devil knows he has lost the battle. Uh-huh. Somebody says, Sister Geraldine says, I feel highly empowered and blessed. Wow. Hmm. Hmm. Somebody felt wave. You see, me, for me, I just, after the communion like this, I was praying, I just felt, these feelings just came up on me like that. So, so calm and peaceful. Sister Maggie felt wave. Wow, God is doing something. He's touching us differently. Differently. Samagi felt to wave. Sister Geraldine says she felt highly empowered and blessed. Uh -huh. Sister Lois felt air after the communion. Hmm. Ah. Oh my God. This is powerful. This is powerful. This is powerful. God bless you, Nancy. You are welcome. You are welcome in Jesus' name. Wow. This is so powerful. This is so powerful. Thank you, Jesus. God has answered our prayers. You can't tell. So, Sister Carol feels peaceful. Hmm. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Her. Master of the universe. What can't you do? What can't you do, Jesus? Creator of the world, what can't you change? What can't you change, Jesus? You are able, great and mighty God. You are able, Jesus. Ah, mashantalabos kandalabas. Say, I feel relaxed, relaxing, relax. Ah, wow. God is so good. It is said to self. This is where we draw the curtain. What else can we do? Let's just read Psalm 23 for reading's sake because it is already settled. Ah, yeah, yeah. It is already settled. Just let's go to Psalm 23. Mm. <laughs> let's read Psalm 23. Uh, Psalm 23. Hmm, so I feel so fresh. Thank you, Jesus. Hmm. Something really happened. Oh, don't forget your Thanksgiving offering. Who is going to post our payment details now? Let me see if I can get it. Don't forget your Thanksgiving offering. If you don't have it today, make sure not at the end of the month you send it. Master of the universe, what can't you do? What can't you do, Jesus? Creator of the world, what can't you change? What can't you change? Jesus, you are able. There's a reward for it. 24 hours without food is no joke. This is our first offering seed for the year. Whatever you have, make sure you send something. 
If you don't have, but you have one dollar, one euro, make sure you drop something. God wants to see your obedience. This kind of powerful program like this, it is always good to seal it with a bountiful seed. All our details are there. We have Cash App. We have PayPal. We have Nigeria Bank details. And then we also have our, I don't know if the GoFundMe is on this one. Okay, for those of you that even our GoFundMe link is there, GoFundMe. You can use the GoFundMe. GoFundMe link. If you don't have it now, but make sure now to the end of the month, when you get your pay, you can do it. If you have it now, if you don't have it now, you can get, when you get your salary or payment or anything, you can do it. Praise the Lord. Let's go to Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I am reading the Amplified Version. And it always will give extra explanations. The Lord is my shepherd to feed, to guide, and to shield me. This is the, the what the Lord is doing to us, for us. Sorry, you know we just finished fast. I'm hungry now. <laughs> Self-control, woman of God. <laughs> But did not be firewood there. Eh? 24 hours without food is not easy. Hmm? Now, this is why I sometimes like to use the amplified version because it explains some more. The Lord is my shepherd. What is the job of a shepherd? To feed, to guide, and to shield us, to protect us. So you are protected, you are guided, and you are shielded. Do you see that? I shall not want. Number two. Say, he lets me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still, the still and quiet waters. No trouble. This is how we feel just now. This is what we felt just now. <laughs> your, tummy, your tummy is calling for food. So is mine, oh. Mm, but we have to finish. Self-control. Fruit of the Spirit. Self-control. We have to have self-control. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, you are free. If you can eat, you can have it. Make a cup of tea, fruit, anything. You can eat. You are free to eat now because I'm not seeing you. It's only me you people are seeing. It's cheating, no? You are seeing me. Me, I'm not seeing you. Facebook has to come up with how we can be seeing each other. That is not on Messenger on Facebook like this. You see, so he leads me beside the still and quiet waters. That is peaceful, peaceful environment. He refreshes and restores my soul. And that is your life. So God refreshes you. He restores your life every single day. He refreshes us every single day. He refreshes us. What a faithful God we serve. He leads me in the path of righteousness. For his name's sake, he's leading us. That's why we are living to be holy and righteous. Even though I walk through the sunless valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. May them try, they will die. For you are with me. Because God is with us, we are not afraid of any evil. Your rod to protect and your staff to guide. They comfort and console me. Hey, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. God is preparing a table before us this year <laughs> in the presence of our enemies. Household wickedness. Name them. God is, has already prepared our table in their presence. They have no choice. They will just sit down. Tongue-tied, watch us, enjoy our food very well. Relax. Take our time to enjoy the goodness of God, the fruitfulness of God. They can't stop us. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. May them gather. God did not say they will not gather. He said, surely they will gather. But because their gathering is not of God, they will still scatter. The way they take gather, the way they gather, the same way they will scatter. Wow. She said, that communion made my mouth and throat so hot. Power. 
power in your communion. Praise the Lord. Look at that. Oh. Don't take these things God leads us to do for granted. Hmm. You have anointed and refreshed my head with oil. Hey! God has anointed and refreshed our heads with oil. My cup overflows. I see somebody having an overflow in this month, in the month of January. Overflow in the month of February. Overflow in the month of March. Overflow in the month of April. Overflow in the month of June, July, August. Overflow in the month of September, October, November. Overflow in December until January again. If I am you, I will shout a big amen. Overflow. Throughout this year, every month, there will be an overflow. Say, my cup overflows. Surely, goodness and mercy. Surely, goodness and mercy and unfailing love shall follow me all the days of my life. Are you listening to that one? So you are not bad, badness. Anything bad is not supposed to follow you. If they follow you, tell them sickness. Don't you hear that? Where are you coming from? Did you not see that goodness and mercy is the only thing that will follow me? Surely goodness and mercy and unfailing love. Unfailing love from God. Unfailing love from man. People that used to hate you. From today, they will see you and they will love you. They will see you and they will love you. They will see you and they will love you. They will see you and they will love you. Surely goodness and mercy and not feeling love shall follow me. Not for one day, not for two days, not for one month, not for five years, not for ten years, but all the days of my life. All the days of my life. And I shall dwell forever throughout all my days in the house and in the presence of the Lord. I will continue to give him praise. I will continue to celebrate him. I will dwell in the house of my father forever. Somebody shout hallelujah. The devil cannot keep us off. We shall be great. Congratulations. Welcome to your year of overflow. Hi, yeah, yeah. That one just flowed in the spirit. Welcome to your year of overflow. Welcome to your year of overflow. Overflow of our miracles. Overflow of testimonies. Overflow of signs and wonders. Overflow of the goodness of God. Overflow of the mercies of God. Overflow of divine provision. Overflow of marital blessings. Overflow of all blessings. We are not accepting anything less. Abi, you want to accept anything less? I am not accepting anything less. This is my year. Tell yourself, it is my year of supernatural overflow. My year of supernatural overflow. Mm. My year of supernatural overflow. My year of supernatural overflow. Thank you, Father. Just begin to thank God. We are done. We are done. We are done. It is settled. It is settled. It is settled. Just begin to appreciate God. Just tell him thank you. Appreciate him. Worship him. Thank him for, for the overflow. Just thank him. Just thank him. So just, just thank him. Oh, maskandalaba shiketerebo siyaraba. Just thank him. Just thank him. I appreciate him. Say thank you, Father, for this supernatural overflow. Thank you, Father, for this supernatural overflow. Thank you, Jesus, for the supernatural overflow. May your name be praised forever. Father, we thank you. We thank you. We bless you, Lord. You are holy and forever you are God. 
Aleluia. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Father, we just thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Oh, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art. How great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. I keep hearing it is settled. <laughs> I'm still hearing it is settled. I just heard it again. It is settled. It is truly settled. I am waiting to share your testimony. Congratulations to all of us online. Those that have come and gone. Congratulations to every one of us in this ministry. Our stories have changed. Our stories have changed. Our stories have changed. In the mighty name of Jesus. For those of you that are just coming, you missed a lot. You missed a lot. So make sure you go back. When I go, we go offline, go back and watch from the beginning and just key yourself into whatever um, whatever we whatever we did. And the prayers we prayed, just pray it. Connect to every prophecy. Connect to every word. Connect. Then get your own communion. Watch the video. Connect and do it. It will still work for you. And also enjoy the presence of the Holy Ghost that we enjoyed today. It was really powerful. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Sister Geraldine. God bless you. Thank you, Father. Our stories have changed. Now, congratulate yourself now. We are brothers and sisters. Oh, yeah, congratulate yourselves. Quick, 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 quick. Congratulate yourselves before we go. Congratulations, Sister Geraldine. Congratulations, Sister Lois, Sister Carol. Congratulations to me. Um, Sister Veronica, congratulations to Sister Marcia, congratulations to Sister Vivian, congratulations to Sister Pat, Sister, congratulations to every single ones online, the ones that are commenting, the ones that are not commenting, wow, see a whole lot of people, they are not commenting, so we are not seeing them. Congratulations to all of us, to Sister Joy, congratulations to every single one of you online, congratulations. Welcome to your year of supernatural overflow. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless all of you. God bless all of you. See you tomorrow. Congratulations, Leota. Congratulations, everyone online. Amen. Congratulations. Amen. Go back and watch this video and follow everything we did. Every one of you that came late. The same thing with Sister Josephine. You came late. Go back. Congratulations, brothers and sisters. Congratulations on my children, sis. <laughs> Not children. Children, sis. God bless all of you. I love you all. I love all of you. You are precious in God's sight. Congratulations to Lois. Ah, congratulations. Where is your husband? Come and play the love now that we were congratulating. Yes, Pastor Emmanuel. Yes, Pastor. Pastor left. Pastor, now is the time to play love with your wife. Come and play the love now. We can play love now. Program is finished. Church is closed. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, yeah, so watch again. It's something to watch again. I will host watch party tomorrow. Sister Lois, where is your husband? Pastor left. Ah, why Pastor leave now? Now that we want to play love. We want to join you to play love. Pastor left. Eh? You see this guy with a with minister, pastor with wife, they play love on our platform. Eh? 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 Why are you my wife? The other one, they write, my heart beat. Don't let your heart they beat. Eh? You want your, your the singles where they here? 
You want to nyo nyo the single. Single stop into it. Oh. He said marriage is sweet. Oh. Nana yera. He said marriage is sweet. Oh. May God your own husbands for all the singles here. Your husbands will locate you in Jesus name. You too, you come and do your own ajasko when we are online with your husband. Hmm? God bless you. Now that we want pastor to come and play love. Pastor is gone. Tell pastor we are going to, he's going to pay fine. Tell him we are going to fine him for leaving. Now that we want to enjoy the love, he left. Eh? Because now we finish, we don't close, so we can play love. Eh? <laughs> ah, all of you, your own husbands will locate you. You come and play love with your husbands on the platform. In the name of Jesus. I use them now. That, do you know that this is evidence, proof that your own case is settled? For the first time with pastor, I see pastor for my platform. Now love, you can't play. Uh, so connect to that love and your own go unfold too in Jesus' name. I know that definitely three people will locate their spouse this year. I don't know who those three people are. Good night, everybody. My kitchen is calling my name, eh? See you later. Bye-bye. Enjoy your freedom. Enjoy your supernatural overflow. It is done. It is settled. It is done. It is settled. God bless all of you. Love you, love you. Bye-bye and good night. <laughs> hey, I